exporting Google Maps waypoints into Basecamp. How do we do it? Well, that's what this video is about. This is Garmin Basecamp 4.7.4, which at the time of this recording in July 2022 is the current version. I have a test folder and a test list over on the left side, which I did by File New List Folder and then File New List. Does a list need to be within a folder? No. You can just do File New List and have the list on its own if you want. It is currently blank. I just made a test folder here. In addition to that, note the bottom here. I'll just bring that up a little bit. Oop, showing my Google stuff. I'll get back to that in a moment. Now, ordinarily, it looks like this, this little funnel thing is the data filters. I Now, it should, by default, show all user data, just in case it doesn't. You can click this little guy or just click Show Waypoints, but I'm going to have it show all user data, so we're good there. Okay, let's bring this up. Now, if you've never used this before, you can go to My Maps, Google, Com, as in mymaps.google.com. Now I'm already logged in. You obviously need a Google account for this. This is stuff I was just experimenting with. I put in a bunch of Texas safety rest areas that I grabbed from the uh, Texas DMV website. And anyway, I made a map. And it looks like that. I, I even put little Texas flags on it. How cute. Now what you can do after you make a map in mymaps.google.com is you can click the triple dot here. This is the desktop version, obviously, and I can export to KML slash KMZ, which I did. So I exported this. It makes a file. You download the file. I'll just minimize this. You get this thing. So I have a KMZ. You can use a KML. Also, you can use either or. It doesn't matter. But I just went and got the KMZ. So I've got this guy right here. And then I've got my base camp, and I got my folder that I just showed you. Now watch, watch the magic here. So I've got my KMZ. Ta-da! Now I've got all my waypoints from Google Maps into base camp, which I can then export over to a Garmin Nuvi driver drive smart. How neat is that? Now it doesn't carry over the icons. It won't do that but it carries over all the information that you put in there. Well, I don't know if all of it, but most of it, yeah, probably. You may have to go and edit each one and put in, if you need to put in street, city, state information, you might have to do that. But what's the most important thing is the coordinate position itself. Oh, and by the way, I should uh, mention that if you do want the coordinates in decimal degrees. That is done from edit options. I believe it's under measurement. Yeah, it is. Right here. Position grid. And you get a whole mess of options here. But you can, the one, the two that people use most, the most, is latitude, longitude, degrees, minutes, seconds, and decimal degrees. Now decimal degrees is H D D D period D D D D D and degrees minutes seconds is lat stroke long H D D D M M S S point S. I believe that's what it is. Let me just check to make sure. Which by the way Garmin's will uh, show by default. Yeah. So now it in automatically changes it, which is nice. So this one just changed to 32 degrees north, 31 minutes, 8.8 .8 seconds. I think that's how it's read. And uh, 102 degrees west, 36 minutes, 43.6 degrees seconds, something like that. I'm not an expert when it comes to uh, coordinate, uh, no, uh, how it's said. But the one that I like to use is uh, decimal degrees. Just to me... I'm, I'm used to it. It's easier. There we go. So, 32 uh, north 32.50911, west 102.61211. Okay, we're good. Anyway, point being is that 
go back over here. So whatever I marked here. Now I do have the address information. I did put something in here, but it didn't seem to carry over. In the, let me look at that again. Did it carry over? Did it put it in notes? Oh, it put it in notes. Okay, so it did import over. So I could take that and copy and then put it into, okay, I could put it into street. But even if I imported it, uh, excuse me, exported it over to a newbie, it should still show that. Okay, so it did put, the, the information was in there. Okay. I just learned that. You're learning with me right now. Isn't that nice? So, just to recap, you can go back, you can go to mymaps.google.com and make your maps, okay? And if you want, name them and put in whatever information you want. Then you can click the little triple dot and you can export it to a KMZ or KML. And then you can go into Basecamp and make yourself a little list. And you can take the file and drag it right over onto the list from the desktop. And you're good. Pretty cool, huh?